Signing Donny van der Beek was a great piece of business by United. Talk of signing Upamecano or Regulon or Thiago is all very exciting. But Jadon Sancho, he's the one we all want and he is the story of the summer. Now it was really loud, all the noise around Sancho to United for weeks, but it went very quiet. And there might be a very good reason for that. So let's revisit Sancho in this video. I'm gonna bring you a few important updates and discuss everything that's happening with Sancho to United. Now, before I begin, I want to encourage all of you to come and join us over on the new United People's TV Discord community. There is a link in the description for the invite. Click that and come on through. Hundreds of you joined yesterday when we launched. It's already fantastic. So much United chat on there. So many of you on there. I'll be there after this video goes live to have a quick live chat about Sancho to United. So you can join me on there. But let's talk about Sancho. And the first update comes from Christian Falk, head of sport over at Build. And he is saying that a promise has been made to Sancho. He was speaking on a Liverpool podcast about Thiago to Liverpool, but then was asked about Dortmund, but then was asked about Sancho. He said Dortmund don't need to sell Sancho or need the money, but they've made a promise to Sancho and said if United bring 120 million in, you can join them. Now, I've always felt this was the case, that that figure of 120 million was a promise that was made to Sancho so that if the bid did come in, Dortmund can just hold their hands up in public and say, look, the bid came in, we accepted it. But at this moment, in terms of the, the negotiations between United and Dortmund, United is still firm that they don't want to give 120 and Dortmund is still firm that they won't accept less than 120. But it's interesting to see that and it will be interesting to see if the stance of either club is softened because it wasn't working before, so something needs to change. And I think Van der Beek and that deal will play a prominent role in it, and I'll explain why later on. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. But before I do, a quick shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring the 2021 season build-up here on United People's TV. It's your one-stop betting hub, all your bookies in one place. There's a link in the description, free to download. Go there and download it. You get great odds on there, like Jesse Lingard to Everton is 6-1. to one. I think that's a good price, and I think Everton would actually be a good move for Lingard if he was to leave this summer, which, fingers crossed, he does get moved on. But there's a link in the description. Go and follow that. But back to Sancho and talking about his move. Well, there's another important update, and I think this one's very important. And this one comes from Dean Jones from Bleacher Report. Now, in his article, he talks about how the deal could go to the wire. I think it probably will. Interestingly, he says that talk around the deal has gone quiet in the media because the two clubs have agreed to go about negotiations in a more respectful manner. Goes on to say that the wage demands and agent fees have been a sticking point and that the Havertz deal to Chelsea could be used as a marker for how much Sancho should cost. Now, that point there about the two clubs wanting to go around this deal in a more respectful manner. It's about time, really, because it was a it was like a public school ground fight between Dortmund's PR and Dortmund's media and United's PR and United's media. Tit for tat, pointing fingers at each other, not accepting responsibility. And it was ugly. It was painful to report on. It was painful to watch as fans. But it's all gone quiet. It has. I think Van der Beek took centre stage because of that. And look how well that transfer went down. That goes to show that it can be done, that two major European clubs involving United can get a big deal done behind the scenes, very quickly, very respectfully, finished. It can be done. And that precedent this summer, I think, gives United more ammunition going back into these negotiations because we completed that deal and we want it to be the same way. Because I always found it strange how Dortmund insisted on using intermediaries instead of the two clubs speaking directly. We were speaking through people in the middle. Why complicate the process like that? It just will make it more complicated. Very strange one. Now, Dean Jones there saying that the wage demands are a problem. But remember that Fabrizio Romano has always said that wages have been agreed and there's no reason why we wouldn't trust Fabrizio on this. So I'm going to push that to the side for now. The idea of Kai Havertz's move to Chelsea being used as a marker, interesting. And I suppose it will give United more ammunition. But the reality is, even if Havertz goes to Chelsea for 80 million, it doesn't downgrade Sancho's value because Sancho is a better player. Simple. So he's probably going to be worth more. Simple. Now, one thing we have to consider, is this all a PR spin by Neil Ashton and his team to make Woodward and United look good? It's a possibility. So maybe take it with a tiny pinch of salt in that respect. But my opinion on what's happening here hasn't really changed. 
Dortmund's stance with that deadline, they wanted it done early. It would have helped them in the summer. They had the money in the bank. No questions asked. But I don't think their stance has really changed. 120 million will still sign Jadon Sancho. And that promise being made, I think that was made at the very, very start. It's why Sancho has stayed very quiet, hasn't put in any sort of transfer request or push for a move because there might be something that gets affected by that. Sancho's just stayed muted. And I understand exactly why he has done that. It's probably the smarter thing to do rather than ruin his legacy that he's made at Dortmund to force a move to United. He's just letting the clubs take the bullets, take the beating. And he, if he earns his move because United pay, will get the move he wants, but he's not forcing it. But I really do feel that the Donny van der Beek deal has given United a new edge going into this next set of negotiations for Sancho because we've shown that we can do it respectfully, quickly. Now, obviously, it's because van der Beek was a lot cheaper and we agreed to the, to the price and everyone was happy. So that's why that deal was allowed to be pushed through so quickly. It's a bit different when United are trying to buy a player and they don't want to pay Dortmund what they want. That's why it won't ever be the same as Ajax and van der Beek. But it goes to show it can be done respectfully behind the scenes. It doesn't have to be all out in public. You don't have to contact your Christian Falks and your Fabrizio Romanos and your Dean Joneses and your Mark Ogdens and get the PR spin. Just speak to each other. Work to each other directly. Ignore the intermediaries and get it done behind the scenes. The two clubs have to improve on that. No, Dortmund's not more responsible than United. I think it's both of the clubs. United don't want to pay and don't, Dortmund don't want to reduce. They're, so therefore, it's a stalemate and it's been played out in public and up until this point, it's just been painful. But let's see if that changes now because the Van der Beek deal shows it can be done behind the scenes and I think Dortmund want to get that money for Sancho. Personally, I think they... Look, if, if they keep Sancho, they will not be upset. But to get that money in now in the coronavirus market would be a big business boost to them and a massive safety net for them going forward. That's what I think. You might disagree with that. But let me know what you think about Sancho in the comments below. And before I finish, I want to give one more quick shout out to our sponsor, Odds Checker, for sponsoring the 2021 season countdown. Big shout out to you guys for helping us. Your one-stop betting hub, all your bookies in one place. As I said, there's a link in the description, free to download that app. As I said, 6-1 to one for Lingard to join Everton. There's decent odds if you think it's going to go there. And let me know what you think about that in the comments below.